Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my future card, Buddy Fight Ace, Soaring Superior Deity Dragon box opening. Got the new set in today, so very excited to open it up and see what we get. For this set, we have support for Dragon World, Legend World, and Danger World. I think the big decks that people are looking forward to build in this set are the Danger Vegetables, the uh, Horus, and the new Messiah Arms as well. So definitely excited to see what we pull. Uh, change of scenery uh, for this opening, just because I have a couple friends that wanted to watch the box opening, see what I pull. So they're all around. Uh, we actually waited a few hours for a few more friends to show up. So let's see what we pull from the box as soon as we get it open. Every box of Buddy Fight, for those of you who haven't watched them before, come with 30 packs still, just like the original Card Fight Vanguard boxes. On, oh, so I kind of tried to peek inside the box to see what the promo was. And it's not one I was expecting, but still a pretty awesome one. Mission Card Quest Start. So that is an awesome promo. I actually saw this. It's a new set card. Um, I actually don't know much about the uh, Dungeon World support, so I'll check that out there. There's the effect for those of you who want to pause and take a look at the card. So very, very nice. And we'll go ahead and jump right into the video and see how we do. I'll, box, I'll <laughs> back the box up a bit and see what we get from the first pack. I know you get one secret pack per box. I think three triples and five doubles. So starting off, Projection Shell Beowulf, one of the Messiah Arms. Uh, Eptal is, is, is Tissu. This is the reprinted impact, I believe, a wise move, and we got a foil version of it. So very, very nice. I believe this is the one uh, Tezuku used against Kyoya in their final fight in Buddy Fight X. Uh, I might be wrong about that but I think it is the one that he used against him. Our first danger vegetable, Major Onion, common grade zero. The danger vegetables are just so hilarious. And we got another one for our rare, Strategic Arms Dangerous Vegan Curry. This is the grade three that just gives you 10 life at the start of your turn, so insane. Just giving you the 10. It doesn't put it at 10, you gain 10 life. So definitely a scary size three for the danger vegetables especially. On to the second pack. The, the packs themselves are really, really beautiful also, just green. Uh, and we've got a Captain Asparagus to start off. Trustworthy Affection, Shamam. Uh, Colonel Tomato. Dancing Dragon of Moonlight. And we've got a, another rare, Dimension Dragon, Odeo Nexus. So I was happy for the Dimension Dragon support we're also getting. I think the highest rarity card they have is a double rare, so it's not too, too bad. Gonna show off a good amount of the commons. I don't want it to be a super, super long video since we do have 30 packs to go through. So once we start seeing a lot of um, you know doubles for the commons, I'll quickly go through them. New uh, Dragon Blood cards as well. Uh, Bow of Doki for the Legend World. Uh, Angel Troop Elza for the Imperial Corpse. And we have Hero Heroical Armor, Graham for Hero World. It's one of the Messiah Arms, but there's so many weapons for the Messiah Arms, I got a friend who's my buddy Nick is looking to build the Messiah Arms, so. But I don't know what I'm building out of this set. Mostly just trying to help friends uh, build stuff. We got the new impact, Must Eat Veggie Hater Annihilation Cannon. That is just, Yuga looks insane in this art. That is crazy. But the danger vegetables are just so hilarious. Waterside Shimmer, Carcade. Battler of Giant Axe Hoff. Here's another wise move. And for our first, oh, that's actually a really good double rare to pull. It is Sweet Happy Time. This is the generic card. It just has such uh, defensive spells. Uh, you can tell by the art, very, very cute there also. Uh, just resting your opponents, giving uh, plus uh, power or minusing. Very, very good one to pull for sure. Now I think the uh, most expensive triple rare in the set is delicious, too delicious for the danger vegetables. So we'll have to see how we can do with that one. And we've got our secret pack right off from the bat. It's the Messiah Arms. My one friend Nick who's watching is very happy with the result. So we've got Projection Shell Siegfried. Uh, we've got Projection Shell uh, Tribateona. Blade of Determination. Messiah Arms Sig Saber. 
And we've got Heroical Armor Balmung for the last one. A very beautiful one. I wasn't really looking to build the Garga uh, from this set, so very, very nice that I could pull one of the two other secret packs, the other one being uh, Horus from my friend Donnie because he wants to build the support from that set. So if I can get those secret packs, I think it'd definitely be worth it. We have a Chief Carrot for our next common, Angel Troop Sashiel, Dancing Razor, uh, da Garuda, and we've got our first of the rare legendary Thunder Deity, Voltic Ross. This is actually for the budget version of Horus. If you have the trial deck versions of Flame and Ice, or is it Magma Horus, I believe? I, I think it's still freezing. Yeah, so this is just if you have the trial deck version, because uh, the other version of Voltic Ross is in the Secret Pack, so very, very cool. I think the trial decks are the ones that don't say legendary in their names. Okay. I think. Still got. Three triple rares to pull, and we've only pulled one double rare so far along with the secret pack. So, all right, we've got our second foil, Senior Paprika for the Danger Ventral. These cards are just so hilarious. Uh, there's so many of them, too, that you run in the deck. I think they're the majority of the monsters you run. I really don't think you run any other monsters in the deck. We have Warrant Officer Pumpkin as well. And there he is. It's, uh, it's not the actual Colonel Pepper because he is a triple rare. We have It's the Season for Fresh Veggie. It's a rare for Danger World. Very, very uh, hilarious looking card as well. Next pack on this side. I've already lost count of how many packs we've gone through, but 15 on each side. So we'll quickly just start going up. Foil version of Strategic Arms, Dangerous Vegan Curry as well that card is beautiful very very nice uh, just looks so much better than the rare and of all the cards i definitely do think the danger vegetables are the nicest looking ones for sure we have a un, uh, unidian very nice you can see um omni lord count on right yep on there as well and we've got scariest stare this is actually a reprint for danger world so very nice reprint at that it's generic also so very, very cool. Let's see how many packs we've got left on this side. I was gonna say that, but I already dove right into a pack. So let's see what we get. Another impact for Dragon Slaying Arts, Ragnar Flame for Masai Arms. We've got Bow of Doki, Dadan Territory for the Blood Sect. Gari Shift, and we've got Dragod Glyph. So yeah, I think the, the good amount of the Dragod support in this pack is, actually I say it's triple rare, but I know a good amount of the uh, Legend World and the Danger World is also triple rare. So I think it's pretty balanced. I just don't think they focus too, too much on this pack for the uh, Dragod. Senior Paprika, another Dadan territory. This is looking very familiar. There's a Corporal Potato. And we have Awakened Dragon Deity, Tith Gardra, for our rare. I'm doing my best to keep all the commons and rares separate, but I think we're almost about halfway, uh, nope, more than halfway done with the left side. Five packs remaining. Still no triple rare in sight. Watch them all be on the other side for the cards as I destroy the back card on this one. And it's probably going to be the delicious, too delicious now with my luck. We have Senior Paprika again. So yeah, we're already getting some doubles, so we'll start going through them. Here's the impact for the God Punks as well in this set. Absolute Power, Galador, Galadors Exterminate, I believe is how you pronounce that. Dadan getting bullied, I believe, <laughs> out of his lunch money. And we've got our Double Rare Resolution to Protect for... Uh, this is definitely the Messiah Arms pack uh, box, I've noticed that. Very, very beautiful foiling as always, though, in Buddy Fight, especially. On to the, but still, no triple rares in sight, so that's what we have to definitely look forward to. Here's the Captain Asparagus as well. Colonel Tomato, Elza. And we have a white request for the Imperial Corpse. Three packs remaining. The Danger World's border art, definitely. Very, very cool. I've always loved the Danger World border art, just how it looks. There's the impact again. Axe Hoff. We've got a foil Dragon Slaying Arts, Ragnar Flame. We've already pulled three of this impact, and we got the foil version now also. We've got a Dragon Blood Metallic Breath in Viron. I think it's our first of that. And we've got a First Lieutenant Eggplant for the rares. I, there's just so many of the Danger Vents. We're going to have to go through them all after this just to see which ones I have. Two packs remaining. So let's see. How we do with the rest of the left side 
And I and definitely am excited because we have all the different forms of Garga now. I think they've uh, revealed that we have a, um, oh, I'll say it right after this, Demonic Index Unidian. And we've got Gari Grants for Dragon World. This is for the Garga of this set that uses G-Boost Will. So this one basically uh, gain life and deal damage to your opponent, I believe is how this uh, deck works. Snake Garga also, you can tell from that. Last pack on the left side. But I, I, it's been so long since I've opened a 30-pack box of Vanguard. But I believe the videos are always pretty lengthy when you're just going through all of these. We have a Searing Fang Spear Axe. For, this is for uh, Tyrant. Yep, very nice. New weapon for them. And Demonic Meteor Tandust for Dragon Blood. They're just all over the place. I'm going to have to organize the rares at the end. But on to the right side. I'm just going to throw all the packs out there. Might save us a little bit of time on the speed of the video. I don't like to rush either since it's a whole new set. I like to look through so many of this impact we pulled. <laughs> very, very nice. We have uh, another Elza and our third vegan curry. This we're, There are some rares we haven't pulled yet and we've already got almost a play set of the size three for the danger vegetables. Yeah. Just yeah. Back hard. <laughs> Here's another paprika. Beowulf, our third to Dan territory also. Uh, Odeo Nexus. The one double rare I definitely do want to pull is the Dimension Dragon one because I do have Lost World, so any card I'd want, it would be that one. Mm -hmm. Can't remember, I don't think, no, if you pull a buddy rare, it doesn't take up your SP spot. Not your SP spot, your uh, secret, secret pack card. spot. Yeah, we have a you. Demon Slay and a second uh, legendary Thunder Deity, Voltic Ra, for the rare. Kind of messed up. The trial deck ones are the legendary, the one in the. Uh... Secret packs are just the EVs. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see, oh, there we go. Another Annihilation Cannon. Your turn, I think. And we've got a Foil Dance of Grimlight Dancing Ooh. Razor for Dragon Blood Sec. Another Colonel Tomato as well. And an, our second, it's season for the Fresh Veggie. The deck is just so funny. Like, the more, the more and more I see it, the more and more I want to build it. But we've got, I just have to wait and see what the prices of everything is going to be, if it's going to be too expensive to build multiple decks, because I know there are multiple people in our group who want to build that deck also. Chief Carrot, uh, Gar Raccoon, another Tith Gardra. But it's also, yeah, what I like, because set seven is going to be even better. There's just so much support overall in that set for everything. So can't wait to see what they do in that set. We've got Major Onion. And we've got Projection Shell Georg for Messiah Arms. Double rare. Very, very nice. With, I believe, eight packs remaining. Nope, nine remaining left. With still two triple rares to pull. So we're definitely keeping it intense with just what it's going to be. Here's our fifth Ragnar Flame. I'm okay with the Senior rules. Paprika. Yeah, it's not that bad. Margeus and Graham for the rare. Let's see. We've got Beowulf, Dadan Territory. We got Foil Ooh. Dragon Blood, Metallic Breath. There's another wise move. Just a good generic for sure for the monster. Or just a size one, because it doesn't have to be a Battle Deity Robo, it can just be a size one also. And here's our first Jet Black Typhoon Tyrant Cerberus. This this support all sold out online from what I saw. I saw so many of the cards, even the one from Buddy Legends was already sold out by the time this card came out, which is insane for sure. And we've got, yep, seven packs for me. I already I counted just a second ago, but let's see how we do with the final ones remain. Pull a good amount of foil cards too, I've noticed. Let's see, we've got up, oh, this is a really good one as well. Very good generic card for both Dragon World and Legend World. Uh, DD Dragons and Legend Dragons Revenge. Definitely, I would say, a needed card for the deck, especially. I don't know if I played in my main one. Your main one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's another impact. We get. Oh, already skipped ahead because the foiling guy got stuck with all these pumpkins and tomatoes. We have a Dio Gardra. This is actually a pretty good card for G Boost. It gives you uh, resources, uh, dropping two of your opponent's gauge as well. If you can get this off first turn, it really puts them at a disadvantage as well. But yeah, two triples still. Let's see. 
what they end up being also. Chief Care. If I remember from Blazing Overclash, none of us pulled Iris Lilac from all the boxes we opened, so I was kind of disappointed in that. Uh, we have an Oswira. I'm going to kill that guard. Put the top card of your deck into your gauge, draw a guard, put a monster from your field into the drop zone. So just a generic. Is this a reprint, I believe? No, I don't think so. Is it so. new? I'd have to double check afterwards. It seems uh, so generic, though. No, I think that is a reprint. No. The art kind of makes me think yeah, it was a reprint. Stack right now. Yeah. Colonel Tomato, Gari Shift. And our next triple rare is for Masai Arms, Projection Shell, Sigurd for... Uh, the Legend World. Very, very nice. I'm going off the last three, hoping to get that Danger Vegetable Triple Rare. Either Pepper or Delicious Too Delicious. That's what I want to see in these final packs. We've got Dragoness Pressure and a Double Rare. Incomparable Tenki, Zugagagaya for Dragon Punks. Very, very... I, I like the card. I think it has potential. Almost makes you think it's 100 Demons with the mark she has in the top corner. Very, very uh, funny card for sure. That might be all the double rares. I think that's five now pulled. So I think we just have one triple remaining, potentially a buddy rare. But let's see with these final packs. We have Exterminate and oh, there we go. I wanted to see at least one of the danger vegetables and we poured Colonel Green Pepper as the final triple rare in the box. Um, so many people make this your buddy, but if you want to build danger vegetables and save some money, just put, just make any of the other vegetables your buddy. It can be that funny. You can change your buddy up every game as well, depending on which one you use. I think that'd be the funniest way to do it. But if you want to make, you know, green pepper, it's just one of the more pricey ones to do. All right, last one. Yeah, change it every game. Last pack. Here's the impact again. Dedan Toratori again, Gar Raccoon, and we end with an inevitable victory, Kafa Rababa for the rare. So many Legend World cards in this set especially, but very, very happy with the results. It was definitely a sweet secret pack as well. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, until next time, uh, if you all still enjoy these buddy fight openings, I know I promised to get a few deck profiles out as well. But until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.